Excellent. So this is the last part of matrices and we've learned so many things already. Yeah? But this is uh, one of the most important parts, which is to find the inverse of a matrix. And there are two ways of doing that. It's by simultaneous equations and it's by doing, uh, and you can find the inverse by using a particular formula. Now I'm gonna, only going to show you the formula, not the simultaneous equations, because I think it's just, it, that, that just takes 10 times as long, huh? that particular strategy. Yeah? But if you really want to know how to do it with simultaneous equations, let me know and I'll show you anyway. Yeah? But just by formula. All right, so the inverse. Let's say I have a matrix A, uh, any number, 5, 2, uh, 3, and 4. Okay? And you only have to find the inverse of a matrix for matrices of order 2 by 2. Okay? So that is nice. You already know that. Okay, now how do you find uh, the inverse of a matrix? Remember, when I was showing you how to find a determinant, I said, well, in general, a matrix of two by two, let's say A, B, C, D. It has four pieces of information. Let's just call them A, B, C, and D, all right? Now, to find the inverse of a matrix, this is what you have to do. You swap A and D, so D goes there and A goes there, and you change the signs of B and C, okay? That is something you first of all have to do, all right? But that matrix then, you have to multiply by a particular scale or by a particular number, and that number is gonna be a fraction, because it's gonna be one over the determinant. Determinant, yeah? You can't read that, but it says determinant. One divided by the determinant. And I showed you in my previous video how to find a determinant. Okay, now this requires perhaps some practice. You do it two or three times and you'll never forget. Because what do we do? Let's have a go, yeah? So I start uh, with this question now. So the inverse, yeah, so a to the power minus one equals. I'm gonna leave some space for that scalar. And I'm just gonna start by swapping a and d. So four and five. I'm just going to change the signs of B and C. You see that? They do not swap, just the signs change. Okay. And that I have to multiply by 1 over, and then the determinant. Now, what did I tell you about the determinant? How do we calculate the determinant? Let me just quickly get this one there. It's from my previous video. I have some example questions. The determinant is AD minus BC. Remember that? Okay. So, go back here. AD, so 20, yeah, four, five times four, 20, minus BC, two times three is six, okay? So let me just simplify that, 20 minus six, that will be 14, and I already swapped and changed the signs of those pieces of information, there we go. Okay, looks a little bit messy, I do apologize for that. The last thing you then do is multiply all those pieces of information in your two by two matrix by that scalar one over 14, yeah? So four times one over 14 is four over 14, two over seven, yeah? Your calculator will simplify that for you, yeah? One over 14 times minus two is minus two over 14, which is minus one over seven, yeah, 1 over 14 times minus 3 is minus 3 over 14, and 1 over 14 times 5 is going to give you 5 over 14. So the inverse yeah, of the matrix A, a 2 by 2 matrix, is going to look like that. Yeah? And how do you find that? Again, you swap A and D, change the signs of B and C, and you have to multiply that by 1 over the determinant. And the determinant is... AD minus BC. So a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge combined in finding the inverse of a matrix. That's why, well, guaranteed you're going to get it on your INGCSE or GCSE maths exam, okay? So you better practice it. So don't worry, I still have a few more videos for you about the inverse of a matrix, and then you can increase your understanding there, all right? So I'll see you at the next video.